What's going on guys? So today we're gonna to talk about six reasons of why you should join the military. So I made a video in the past on five reasons of why you should not join the military. And if you're curious and you wanna check that out, I will link that in the description below. Now, the first reason I wanna mention is something that I made a video before titled the number one reason why you should join the military. And I still do believe this. I believe that if you have any kind of inkling or any kind of real desire to join the military, just go for it. You know, maybe you don't wanna do active duty, but you still wanna do your part. You know, National Guard or an Army Reserve or a Marine Reserve or Air Force, National Guard, all these other things are there available to you. I get way too many people telling me, you know, commenting on videos and stuff, being like, man, I wish I would've joined back whenever I was of the age to join. And now that I'm too old, it's one of the biggest things that I regret. So my big thing for a lot of people is if you really wanna join, just go for it, especially if you're a younger person, you know, do that Army Reserves or the National Guard if you're not certain that you wanna do active duty. And then if you decide that you wanna go active duty, then you can switch later. But my big thing in life is you don't wanna regret certain things. And a lot of people really regret not joining the military. So the next real big reason of why you should join the military is a couple reasons kind of lumped into one, but I'm gonna title it kind of experiences. So the experiences that you get overall through the military that you wouldn't get otherwise. So you're gonna get real world experiences at maybe a young age that you don't get in the civilian world. You're going to get leadership skills that you're not going to get in the real world. You're gonna have a whole different experience, right? And when you get out of the military, you're going to have acquired leadership skills because maybe you're only 18, 19, 20, younger, 20 years old, and you've been in positions whenever you're leading a group of people that a lot of people your age don't have that opportunity. So you're gonna get leadership experiences. You're going to get experiences in general in the military, right? There's gonna be good and there's gonna be bad experiences. A lot of people say, you know, their time in the military, it gave them the best times of their life and the worst times of their life. And that's kind of how it works but you're gonna have some really cool experiences when you're in the military and you're going to look back at those and you're gonna really enjoy that. And the other thing has to do with travel. The experiences that you get when you get to travel to new places. I didn't want to like use an entire reason for joining the military being travel because it's kind of an it depends kind of thing, but you will get to travel some. If you decide to go the Navy route, you know, travel and getting to go to all these different countries and stuff when you're deployed is definitely a thing. If you decide to join the army, you know, you might only get to travel to Afghanistan or Iraq or South Korea or one of these other places that you don't maybe really want to go to. Yeah, you might get to go to Germany or Italy or some other place in Europe. But you know, for sure, if you join the Navy, you're gonna get to go to see some really cool places. The next big one is free college. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because it is free college, but depending on where you want to go. So if you join the military and you go active duty, it's not like you're gonna get to go to Harvard or something and get free Har a free Harvard education, you know, where it's like $300,000 a year to go to that school. The military has a base pay that they're gonna pay you out for like the GI Bill or the post 9-11 GI Bill, uh, depending on which one of those benefits you get. But as far as active duty goes, I believe from what I understand, obviously I'm not active duty, I'm in the Army Reserves, but uh, from what I understand from other people who are active duty that are getting the GI Bill, is it's about $1,800 a month, give or take a little bit, maybe you get a different kicker or something, but it's about $1,800 a month, which should definitely put you through most schools. If you really wanna get your four year degree, you really wanna get your education, that is going to be able to pay for you. Now on the Army Reserve or the National Guard side of things, you're still gonna be able to get money for school, but it might not pay for your entire school. If you wanna to go to a community college, depending on where you live, Reserve GI Bill might actually pay for your community college, but in most, the vast majority of cases, the Reserve GI Bill is not going to pay for your you know, university school for a four year degree. It might cover 30% of it. For me personally, the GI Bill I get is the 1606 Select Reserve GI Bill. And for me, it's about $600 a month. Now again, it might vary just a little bit for you depending on the kicker you get. You could get more than me or you could get less than me, 
But that's gonna be a nice little bonus for you to go to school. It's definitely gonna help you guys because that's gonna be an every month type of thing as long as you're taking a full load in classes. So, you know, college, getting free college, getting, you know, half of your college paid for, that is definitely an awesome thing. It's an awesome benefit that you get from the military that you don't get anywhere else because, you know, a lot of people, especially nowadays, especially nowadays, are going to college and graduating with a crap ton of debt. Now, me personally, I did college before I joined the military, so I do have some debt, but now that I joined the military and I'm getting some of that GI Bill and stuff, that is completely helping me pay my own way through college. So now my college debt is not nearly as high as what it could have been had I not joined the military. The next big reason I wanna talk about is basically when you join the military, you're setting yourself up for success later on in life. Now. There might be some things that you might give up in the short term whenever it comes to the military. And I talked about that in my five reasons of why you should not join the military. But if you do join the military, you're setting yourself up for success, not only financially later in life, but you know, in your civilian career later in life, if you join the military, you got a higher chance of getting a management position it's because of that leadership experience that you get in the military that you don't get anywhere else. Because a lot of employers look at that, they see military members and they know that they handle stress well, or at least they handle stress on average better than other normal civilians. And then employers know that military members have that leadership experience already. So they tend to like that a lot more. So you're setting yourself up for success in that regard, as well as all of the different health benefits. If you decide to go 20 years in the military and you get that big retirement pay, that's gonna be something that's gonna help you out a lot that a lot of older people really wish they would have done. A lot of people do the military, but then they only do like 14 years or so, and then they regret not actually doing your 20 years. So that could be a really big positive thing that's going to set yourself up later on in life to where you don't have to worry about things. So it just takes a little bit of grind now and then a lot of success and easier times, easier sailing later on in life. One of the other reasons of why you should join the military that people don't normally join the military for this reason alone, and that is the camaraderie. That's the awesome people that you're going to meet. That's the awesome friendships and bonds that you're gonna have with your buddies that you're going through all of this stuff with. So I remember asking my recruiter what his favorite thing about the military was, and he said the camaraderie. Basically, knowing that the guy next to you has got your back no matter what, and that really builds a strong bond, a strong relationship, so a lot of military members have friends that they were in the same squad together, they were in the same platoon together, and then even after they get out of the military, they're still friends, they still keep in touch for the rest of their lives. And the last reason that I wanna talk about of why you should join the military is it generally just builds you up to be a stronger, more reliable, more resilient, more productive, you know, overall, in my opinion, better person than had you not joined the military. Now this can obviously vary from person to person joining the military, but I do believe that there's a lot of, you know, positive, you know, impacts that the military has on you as a person and it just makes you in my opinion a better man, for example, right? So if a boy joins the military, a boy, like you know, 17 year old joins the military, when he gets out, he is a man, he is responsible. You know, people can rely on him, he can defend himself. He can provide for his family, he's polite, he knows how to be respectful to other people. There's a lot of really good things that the military instills in you to really just make you a better person, in my opinion. And so that is an awesome thing that the military gives you, and that's also a reason why some people join. Some people do join because they're like, man, I need some structure in my life. You know, I've been in trouble with certain things, and you know, I wanna do something to help better myself, to make myself a better person. And the military can definitely give that to you. So that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, you can hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you wanna stick around for some more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. That would be even better. If you're not following me on social media, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and Snapchat, especially with that best military YouTuber thing going on right now. Uh, I'll be letting you guys know on there whenever you can vote for me, if you wanna vote for me on Kyle Gott's Twitter. So that would be awesome. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Trump.